Hi there Brookship, it's Roz and I'm recording this video just a few days before we get to hear what's on this year's Booker Prize shortlist. Now when the long list this year was published, start of August, 1st of August I think it is, it generated some wildly kind of polarised reactions, outrage about certain books being left out and um, and then some really interesting um, commentary on Booktube about the impact of having a sort of a random group of judges and um, uh, how it works as a kind of uh, marketing, how, how it's manipulated by publishers um, to sort of put certain books forward or not, or, you know, and, and um, uh, yeah, it, it made me think, I suppose, it made me think about my relationship with the book up over the years. Um, I just did a little run around the bookshelves in my house and snatched off the books, those bookshelves, some books by authors that I know are, were book, have been Booker Prize nominees over the years, far from a comprehensive selection. And that's just from, you know, my, my own library such as it is um, and I don't keep every book I, I buy by any means and I get lots of books from the library and lots of ebooks so you know these are just the physical ones or some of them and and you know I don't think I can get away from the fact that the Booker Prize has um, influenced my reading over the years and you know yes it's a marketing tool of course it is it's about selling books but is that a bad thing? I'm not sure it is really, you know, and yes, obviously, it's completely impossible for the Booker Prize to select the best novel um, of any given year because that doesn't actually exist. You know, there isn't one best novel for any given year. But what it does do is, is bring attention to um, a number of novels that, um, and, and novellas that that, that that might be worth yours and my time to read. So what I thought I would do is in the, the time-honoured fashion of the, the Monty Python um, scene in Life of Brian about what have the Romans ever done for us, I'm going to come up with five things that I think um, uh, are what the Booker Prize has done for us. And, and you can agree or disagree with me. OK, so the Booker Prize started in 1969. And I think that I have read something of every long or short list um, over those years with the exception of 1969 so I should probably put that right now obviously I didn't read all of those at the time you know I was only five in 1969 so um, uh, I think I better shut the window I, I think there's a lot of noises off today let me let me pause this while I do that that's better no more dogs and children um but so where was I? Where was I? Yes. So I was only five when the Booker Prize started. But I did go back and read, you know, various books from the first um, decade or so of, of, of the prize. But it was really around 1980 that I started choosing to read things because they were on the Booker Prize um, shortlist or, or won the prize or whatever. And um yeah, from then onwards, I, I think I, I always have. And I I don't know about you, but when I was a child, uh, my sort of reading was, was or, you know, involved a lot of classics. And, you know, as I, as I moved out of childhood and, and started reading adult books, it was very, I was very hooked on classics and a bit perhaps dubious about contemporary fiction. And the the Booker was a way of of finding my way through the the plethora of of newly published stuff and 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 learning what I liked in in contemporary fiction and I'm sure that I can't be the only reader that that it's proved useful for um, in that way. So that's my number one of of 
what has the Booker Prize done for us? I think it's it's helping people navigate their way into contemporary fiction. And, you know, there are so many of my favourite writers that I found that way. Um, you know, I could list loads, but, you know, Anita Bruckner, Margaret Atwood, Kazuo Ishiguro, um, Penelope Fitzgerald, J.G. Farrell, you know, yeah. Just some. I mean, you know, all of these, all of these, you know, things that that it brought me to. And, you know, has, has it brought you to some some authors that you might that became favourites, but you started out with a one that was on the book of shortlist? So and and that has always there's an idea, I think, that there's a sort of typical booker booker prize novel and it's kind of a bit literary but not too adventurous and actually I think you know I've found or or been helped into um some more I don't know adventurous or or um innovative um writers through the fact that that, that the book picked them up um Jim Crace springs to mind Ali Smith's another and um and the wonderful John McGregor who's 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 one of my you know absolute favorite authors so you know yes I think the actual winner some years is not going to be the most adventurous one on the shortlist because the way judging works that you tend up to end up with a bit of a compromise, but I don't think it's fair to say that the book it doesn't um, go for, um, yeah, it doesn't take any risks, I suppose, in, in what ends up on, on, on the shortlist. So that's number one and number two. Number three on my, um, what the Booker Prize has done for us is, is, well, I think one of the most important qualities about the Booker is that it has international quality yeah because it was founded to award a prize to long form fiction from that was from was written in english from the commonwealth authors from the commonwealth or the republic of ireland and that you know just threw open the 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 gates for this prize um and, uh, you know, more recently it's expanded even further by saying that, you know, it's things published in, in, from, in English by authors from anywhere, but um, that are published in the UK. I think that this this sort of the way the booker chose that um, as as has really um, it certainly brought me to a lot of Irish writers that, you know, I'm have heard of but might not have picked up you know people like William Trevor and John Banville and Brian Moore and and Ronan Bennett you know and well a load of others so you know it's always been strong on Irish Irish fiction Australian fiction certainly used to be um, a a real strong sort of got 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 a, a kind of added prominence or, 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 you know, and added sales and added um, awareness through the booker. Peter Carey was, you know, a real sort of booker favourite, I suppose. Um, Richard Flanagan, I came to through the booker. Thomas Keneally, um, Kate Grenville. I worry now that we're not seeing Australian um, authors on the um, long list and short list. And apparently that's because of a, a quirk of the publishing industry. So when in 2014 um, it the, they shifted um, the criteria and said that the book had to be published in the UK in English, that actually disadvantaged Australian authors, not so much because, um, you know, it opened the gates to um, Americans, although that did initially really unbalance um, the shortlist, I think. But because it, apparently, if you're a publisher, if you, um, if, a, if a book is published in Australia, you're less likely to pick it up as a UK publisher because you buy things in zones. So, so you get the right to publish um, in in the UK and the and the Commonwealth. But if it's already been published in Australia, that's one big chunk of your market already gone. So, I hope they find a way to resolve that because it's really sad not to see Australians on 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 the list now. But you know, I think the Booker Prize has has helped me find um, you know writers from 
in English from around the world in a, in a way that I might not have done otherwise. I don't know. You know, people from Zimbabwe, South Africa, um, Nigeria, you know, they're, they're all in these piles. Um, Malaysia, my, one of my favourite writers, Tan Tuan Eng, who I really hope gets gets on the shortlist with um, his book, um, The House of Doors, which I think is wonderful. Um, Tashaw is another Malaysian writer, yeah. Um, but above all, I think the Booker Prize has um, advantaged um, writers in English from the Indian subcontinent, you know, Pakistani, Indian and Sri Lankan authors, um, you know, people like Michael Andache or um, Anita Desai, and her daughter Kieran, Arundhati Roy, um, Kamala Shamsi, Mo- Mohsin Hamid, one of my absolute favourite books ever was a, um, a Booker-nominated um book by an, an Indian writer and that's um, A Fine Balance by um, Rohinton Mystery. I love that book. So sad but so beautiful. Uh, and you know the, the booker of bookers um, uh, as, 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 as uh, went to um, Salman Rushdie um, with Midnight's Children that was published in 1981 and I think that was the first book that I read because it had won the Booker Prize, you know, and as I say, it set me off on on a, a then a, a long path of reading authors from the Indian subcontinent. Now, uh, of course, that has helped prompt me to then look at reading more authors in translation, and you know, so not just writers in English. So I was thrilled and delighted when the book had decided to um, start the, the book International Prize and, you know, to recognise work in translation and the work of translators. And, you know, what, what a great development that is. And that brings me to number number four in my four things that I think the Booker Prize has done for us. And that is the impact of the success of the book as a prize, which I think has has had a real, real sort of stimulating um uh, effect on 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 the the landscape of 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 book prizes and and literary prizes. I mean, of course, you know there are other book prizes, you know, before the Booker, you know, and 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 more illustrious and prestigious ones for sure. But that kind of popularity of the Booker and its success in 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 getting people to read books, buy books, talk about books. I think uh, you know that's that's strengthened the 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 field for, for book prizes. And, uh, you know, uh, famously, the Women's Prize for Fiction was founded because some women writers were and, and, and sort of people in the literary world were so outraged that the 1991 um, Booker Shortlist didn't have a single woman writer on it. You know, and what a gift that was to, to give us the Women's Prize, you know, even if even if for a negative reason. But, you know, others like, you know, the Polari Prize, that's LGBTQ authors, um, uh, Barbellion for disabled authors and authors with chronic um, illnesses, um, the Jalak Prize. I mean, you know, there's loads now. And, and, that's because people want to get a little bit of that book booker effect that 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 get that bit of buzz for for authors that might otherwise be more sort of marginalized perhaps you know and i think it works you know um so that's for now my fifth thing that i think the book prize has done for us is is that buzz you know it 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 gets people talking uh, it even if it's you know controversy like over this year's um long list that sort of um you know it it creates conversation and discussion and excitement uh, about books and you know that has to be a good thing in my book um you know and not least on booktube you know if we didn't have the booktube we would book, book a prize we wouldn't have the fun of you know scott reading all the the books on the on the um long list and you know being rude about some of them in on um gunpowder fiction plot um you know bob bob the booker you know well he's a he's a booker prize gift to the rest of us isn't he um or what about you know charlie and charlie and their their booker um uh, videos that's charles heathcote and and charlie brooker so you know that's my five things that i think the book prize has done for us 
do you agree? Do you disagree? Would you do? You, would you add to my to my five things, um, or do you think that I'm I'm hugely misguided and that I've fallen for um, you know the um, the, the the publisher's manipulation of of this marketing tool? Um, I'd love to know.